and Brinkley was prepared for that fast start. Body shot landed to the left flank. Brinkley doing the things we were expecting Stevens to do, going downstairs. And in spots, acting like the aggressor, acting like the boss. See, that was smart work by Brinkley on the inside with the stronger Stevens. He ties him up. Why take a chance? Again, as I said earlier, if you're Brinkley, you can't really afford to make mistakes. Stevens made mistakes already tonight, Joe, and he's still here. He can survive them because Brinkley doesn't have that big power. Stevens tried to catch him as he drew him in. Now, toe to toe, they go right to the end of this round. Got involved as Peter Manfredo Sr. said, No way, I'm not taking this. Teddy, what do you make of it? I make what I touched on earlier. Peter Manfredo Sr. is a trainer with character, unlike a lot of trainers in this business. He kept his commitment, as I said earlier, to Brinkley. He didn't go with his son. He knew his son would be okay. He had a commitment to Brinkley. A lot of trainers wouldn't have done that. And right there, you see the seriousness and the character of that trainer looking out for his fighter. This is a high-intensity main event. I mean, I know these two guys aren't world champions. These are two guys that are fighting for their careers right now. A ranking in an alphabet soup organization, a chance to eventually fight for a title. Guys that have taken downfalls before in their career and are very hungry and determined to see this through tonight. A certain intensity in the air here in Reno. High charge, just missed with that left uppercut did Stevens as Brinkley was able to dodge out to the left. That left did land from Stevens. You know, Stevens could not have been more overconfident, as it turns out, going into this fight. And I could not have been more wrong, I should say, going into this fight when I predicted that it would be very difficult for Brinkley to survive those first two rounds. He made me a believer right now and obviously made me wrong in my statement. 49-46 Brinkley, according to Teddy's scorecard. Steven scored two big left hooks to open up this fight. Remember, he told us, he told us that he would end this fight in 50 seconds. He swole that right eye, he got to the right eye of Jesse Brinkley, but since then, Brinkley weathered the storm, and it's been a good competitive bout throughout. So, you know, the end of the last round, what that reminded me of, when they continued fighting after the bell, and Brinkley right hand right scores. Up it reminded me of the Tyson Holyfield fight. When Holyfield stood up to Tyson, who was a bully, and no one had stood up to Tyson like that. And it took all the fight, all the wind, out of the sails of Tyson. Right now, Stevens looking very similar to Tyson in that Holyfield fight. A swollen right eye, an underdog here in the local sports books of his hometown. And yet now, trying to pull off an upset. Right hand after right hand coming through in the final minute here of this sixth round for Brinkley. I'm telling you, when he stood up to him the last round, and he, right after he hurt him, he took all the heart out of him. He's breaking him down. Again, just like Holyfield, who stood up to Tyson, the fight right now is completely in the corner of Brinkley. This place is about to explode. Stay focused. That right here is going to put him off. Okay? You better keep busy. All right, now. Very good. You got to keep your hands up right. and work. Classic case of overconfidence compared to will and determination and desire. 33 years old, go. a roller coaster ride of a career. But now he's won eight straight and says he's the best he's ever been. And again, you remember that movie 
Eddie Murphy movie trading places. Well, that's what this fight is about. Frankly, who's supposed to be the boxer, supposed to be the guy who's not the puncher. He has traded places, and you see him right there with the puncher, with the destroyer, Stevens. Now he's the destroyer. He's the guy who's pushing Stevens around. Round seven would have been a highly entertaining main event. And now the disposition of Stevens. Look how it has changed at his Brinkley controlling things here. Can Brinkley Stevens better, make a comeback? Brinkley better keep that right hand up and not get careless though. Because right now, yes, if he puts the pedal to the metal, he can get Stevens out of there. Maybe make him submit. Looks like he's starting to break down and he has been breaking down. But also, Stevens can look for one shot. Look for that left hook. If Brinkley gets a little careless, stays there a little too long, doesn't keep that right hand up. The beauty of this fight, though, as you have documented, is the power that Stevens possesses. No matter how far Brinkley takes it in one direction, you never know how quickly it could swing back. Round seven. This veteran Great feels out there. he's so much more a complete fighter now. Great lesson out there to the young people in any sport, in any profession. Respect your profession. Respect your opponent. Do not ever overlook them. Do not ever get overconfident and assume anything. Uppercut by Brinkley. A left hand from Stevens did come in in the midst of that exchange, but Brinkley just marched forward. Another right hand comes in, and Stevens tries to fight right through it. Stevens did not come here prepared for this kind of fight. He came here prepared to score a knockout. A whole different animal. Came here to throw a punch and go home. Brinkley came here to throw punches, to defend punches, and to last as long as he had to. And yet another right hand. Now he goes downstairs, back upstairs with a right hand. You know, even though you want to still be conscious of the power of Stevens, it's the kind of fight now, if I'm in the corner, and that Fred Sr. has done a great job preparing Brinkley for this fight and working the corner, bringing him into this fight. But I almost want to get rid of Stevens. I don't want to let him hang around now and have that shot, shot in the dark later on. Five rounds to go for that golden ticket. Glad to be joined now by Peter Manfredo Sr., the trainer of Jesse Brinkley, who has turned things on here. Peter, how do you see this fight? Oh, I think he's winning big. Um, he's keeping him off balance with the jab, hitting him with some real nice right hands. I mean, this kid talked all week long, and I knew they weren't going to back it up. Now he's just going to finish the fight strong, and I think we want to pull through and move on, and he can go home. Hey, Peter, I know that there's two things that you can look at it here. Your guy came in here thinking he had to box, he had to stay away from the power of Stevens, and then, of course, start to get to Stevens. He's done that, but we still know Stevens has power. But in my mind, you want to be careful. You don't want to obviously get careless, but at the same time, you want to get rid of this guy. You don't want to give him a chance later on to catch you with something. What are you thinking about? You thinking about getting rid of him or just boxing? Well, I, I, I really want to keep boxing him because the, this kid's a dangerous puncher. And, you know, he, and you never know when he can just throw a punch and catch you on the chin. But I understand what you're talking about when he's got him in trouble. He's going to go to put him away. But when he, when he does get out, because Jesse seems to step back high, I'm trying to get him to go underneath. And that, that's something that Roach always worked with us with, going underneath. Like right this so he step back and he got clipped. He's going to go underneath, and that's going to that's gonna be the key. Yeah, you don't want him to step back high. We can get